This story just gets better and better and better every time I pause it and start off the next video for y'all. Um, Cause like I said, I record these videos in installments and I just can't even put this control down because I'm so into the story. This was just like Man of Madon. When I was playing Man of Madon guys in August, man, I was having a blast playing that. But anyway, welcome back again guys to more of Planet of the Apes Last Frontier. I don't know, I feel like we are getting close to the end of this game. I feel like we're like less, um, more than half of the story completed, so I'm not sure how many chapters we have left. They probably had 10 chapters. Who knows? We'll figure it out. But I love y'all. Just keep doing what you're doing. If y'all want the full series, just let me know in the comment section. I'm going to do my best to spam the um the inning fast this week, so stay tuned in for that. Um, and I will be spamming more vigor, and I will be starting up a new series soon, probably after Thanksgiving. So stay tuned in for that as well. Love y'all, and let's do this. Here we go. My voice going out. As soon as I'm talking, dang it. Let's do this. All right, guys, we're back in this mess. So, Rainy and Jess are captured. Let me know when you cracked it. We're not captured, but imprisoned. Man, I figured that Willis and Arise was going to go off in the deep end. I swear they was going to turn bad. Because they came in a certain way. They wanted to take over the base. What the heck? That's Maria, I think. Oh, it is. Maria! What's going on? Willis's men grabbed me on the bridge. Took me away. Willis and Reeves. They're not just ape hunters. They've got a train load of soldiers heading this way. Aiming to take over the town tomorrow. Bryn freed me. This doesn't make any sense. What I saw. Apes in cages. Humans too. Guns, explosives. They're gonna take over here, then go slaughter the apes. We've gotta do something. Do something. Take a look around, there's not many options. Wow, that's crazy, y'all. They really, they really don't... They really trying to destroy this town. Good thing I made sure I freed uh, Maria. That was a good thing. Oh, snap. What are you doing, Willits? Since you asked. You see, <clears throat> you think you can rebuild this country with a bunch of survivalists? Like you? Rainy? <laughs> nice townspeople? No goddamn way. Needs planning. Strong leaders. Hell, no. one leader. You think that's you, Willits? Go to, yeah, exactly. I'm doing that one. Go to hell. Just doing what has to be done. I think your people see that. Just have good old Rainy here, I guess. They think you're ready to work with us? Against these damn dirty apes? Because I know that there's a little boy in the infirmary that would just love to see his mom. He's gonna be fine, by the way. Just let us out. What about the town? Just let us out, bruh. Demanding. Just let us out of here and we can talk, but not like this. See, here I was, thinking that after what we've been through, you'd be ready to listen to reason. What do you mean, listening? To, to become the town leader? What the ring? Enough bullshit, Willets! You still don't get it, do you? I'll be back to check in on you. Maybe not. Yeah, he's going to end up dying. So if, if I have the option to shoot this man, I would. I'm just saying. 
I'm just being real. <laughs> yeah, Rainy became good now, so I'm gonna choose. He is your enemy. For real, he is. But we can fight him and his soldiers together. Like at the bridge, <coughs> another ape trick. Rainy, what's coming? We can't fight alone. It's either give it up now, give Willits to town, or... Jess. I don't know. You two think this is a shot we gotta take? Yeah. Then we fight together. I know just this spot. The old coal tower in the valley sits over the rails. Back in the day, trains always had to slow. No better place for an ambush. You bring as many apes as you can, and we stop that train before it even gets near the town. <coughs> so let's make a plan. We blow up those tracks just as that train hits the tower. But Jess, when this is all over, we need to talk about who's gonna run this town. Still, it's gonna be a long shot, but it's the only shot we got. Yeah, it could work. We got a lot of C4 in the armory. I get all my people, whoever the hell's left. I'm gonna get Mark. He comes with us. Nah, best I do that. My men are there, I go, there's no questions. You, Maria, get the explosives. All right, we're about to blow up the tracks. C4. Wire. Okay. You good? Good. No, with certain animations in this game. Oh, snap! I figured, I knew it. Oh, hey, Doc. I didn't expect to see you here. Put the gun down. I said put the gun down! And the other one. Man, come on, son. What's in the bag, Miss Ross? Escape? Freak it. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, she's gonna die. I made the wrong decision. I said, what's in the bag, Miss Ross? What do you plan on doing with C4? Attack? What? Shoot! I don't know. I wouldn't attack. Oh well. Yeah, just do that. Yeah, guys, the only way to kill Reeves, bro. Oh my gosh. Don't make the wrong decision to shoot her. Oh, why would I do that? That was the wrong decision to do. I should have shot him. Yeah. Oh no. If I had shot him, what would if what would if the bullet hit her? I'm just saying. Shoot that fool. Thank you. Wow. Alright, so Maria's dead. Dang it. That was the wrong choice, but hey, I didn't want nobody else dying. I didn't want her, I didn't want her to get shot. Where's Maria? She didn't make it. You sure you're up to this? Yeah. What happened? Not now. Let's go. Yeah, she didn't make it, but at least Jess is alive. So we killed Reese. Yeah! Let's get the heck out of here. Marker!
Tell me. Tell tribe what you have seen. Many soldiers come. Many guns. It is war! <laughs> yes, it is war. But we will not fight alone. Humans will fight with us against the soldiers. Stand against him. I don't know. Tribe needs new leader. I lead. Do as I command. I knew it was gonna go down like this. It's about to be a brawl. Yep, I figured. Oh, snap. He was not gonna go down that easily. Charge. Freak it. Go ahead. But the thing is, though, I don't want Brynn dying. Well, he's not gonna die because he's the main character. So I wouldn't expect it, though. Then that's game over. Take weapon? Might as well. Somebody's gonna end up dying. Yeah, Brin's gonna die. I'm not Brin. Uh, Toll's gonna end up dying if I keep fighting. Oh, snap. God dang. Come on, Brin. Grab weapon. Yeah, he has to become leader, though. Ah, uh, come on. I just don't want to... Man, I, what if I don't grab it? What would happen? Oh, he's running. Stop running away, bit. Destroy. Freak it, man. I'm just... Destroy it. Dang it. I mean, at that moment, if we're attacking, it might as well, might as well keep uh, uh, choosing those options. Cut off. God. Man. I don't want to... We're choking the freak out of him. Oh, snap. Uh, God. All right, anyway, just go ahead and do it. I'm sorry. Gotta kill Bryn. I mean, not Bryn. Latola. But isn't this a result of Bryn getting hurt? I just wouldn't... Okay, good. That was good part. Yeah, the good thing I did that. Oh. 
I mean, one's gotta be victorious, though. That means killing your own brother, too. Accept, reject. God dang it. Oh, man. So if I reject it, that means he becomes leader. But if I accept it, Oh, God, I can't just sit here. I can't choose anything. Shoot. All right, just reject it. He must have broke his back or something. I mean, I did all that fighting just to no mercy. Wow. What if I choose... Oh, my God. See, these, these type of decisions, I hate to do, and I fricked up the storyline. So, if I choose no mercy, what would that mean? That means he stays alive. I don't want him dying, though. All right, no mercy. He did enough leader making, so I mean, I just, I had to, y'all. The hateful ape. They had to come down to that, though. But I hope uh, Brent doesn't change his, his sane of mind. Just saying. Hates! Ride with me! Well, this must be, he, he just now finding out. Because he heard the gunshots. 